Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right. You couldn't have pulled the chair out earlier? I don't know. Okay. Jets win 5-1 to one over the Ottawa Senators to improve 4 nothing against the Senators this season. He's eating a goddamn sub. I haven't had supper, man. It's 1.39 in the morning! I was at work all day! Okay. Anyway, anyway, okay. Just, so you're gonna let me eat. Just eat. Just eat. <laughs> just eat. Honestly. Can you not do that? Somewhere else. I promise, we have a game to get to. Um, so... A couple things to talk about here. So Tucker Pullman is back from his COVID protocol and they had him in, but they didn't pull out a defender. I think they did this because they thought, well, we don't know how much Pullman can give right now. So we're just gonna keep, we're gonna pull out a, a forward. They pulled out Veselainen and they put in Pullman. First off, why? Why would you pull him? Like, uh, why? I like Vessel. Like, let the guy play. Pull Bull you for a game. Fun fact: Bull you had a career high time on ice last game with twenty two minutes, and we lost. Get him out of there. But anyway, um, no, the lines are, uh, because they've moved them around a bit, um, because they're trying to find their footing with this. Cop, Shifley, Ehlers, Connor Dubois, Wheeler, Stastny, Lowry, Appleton, and Perot and Lewis as the two extras. Now, this, these lines were pretty solid, and I think if I'm looking here, actually all of them produced. Yep, all of them produced. Um, the defense pairings are like Morrissey, Pullman, Forbert, Pyong, Stanley, Bull DeMello. And Bull is actually the seventh D on there, so I hope that's accurate. Um, but like, here's the thing. When I saw that we were going to play the Sens twice in a row, you, you, you have to, like, especially when you play a team like Ottawa, who's not doing too hot, let's be honest. That, that's... That is a mild statement um, about the Ottawa Senators. They're not doing too hot. Antarctica is not doing too hot. The Senators are collapsing. Uh, it's a goddamn earthquake there. So, the Senators are somehow colder. Yes. Yeah. But the Senators are a team that even though they're not good, you still can't take them lightly. Like how the because it's worth noting we've beat them every time we've played them, not handily. I'd argue one game we did it well. There's one game we should have lost the first. Yeah, we should have lost. We we easily should have lost. Um, the first five minutes was okay. So it's funny. Um, I was on Peg City stream a bit. Um, and and I like because I I, I I I'm talking to a fellow a fellow Winnipeg fan here. And he hated the first period. Okay, no, he hates the strong one. He did not like it at all. I have mixed feelings on this, okay? I'm a little, just, just, we're hearing all the opinions here. And I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm just saying I saw it with a more positive light. It could have been a lot worse. After, at one point, um, the shot count was 10 to 2 for the Ottawa Senators. And the shot count ended... 17 to 6 after at the end of the first but the score was 0-0 we took a penalty demello took a holding penalty he deserved it um and just like a, a couple chances by the sens um also to um lowry had a chance out of nowhere lowry's not fast okay we don't have him because he's fast we have him because he's a grinding a grinder player that's good at faceoffs and a, and a really good penalty killer, actually, if I'm being honest. Um, and it seems like every line he's on, he elevates it in some way, shape, or form. Even if it's not directly with his skill, just his work ethic. Um, 
he gets a chance where the Senators decide to take a full sale change when Lowry is between our blue line and the red line. If anyone ever wants to coach in the future, don't do that. Do not let a team take a full sale change at that point. Lowry skates down. Lowry's not fast, but he blew past everyone. Um, gets stopped up from shooting, and then actually because he gets delayed, has a better angle to score, and just hits the end of uh, Matt Murray's actually, pad. You should never be changing all five guys at the same yeah, time. Yeah, we're being honest here, yeah. Unless the whistle <laughs> blows and the <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, but yeah. But, like, that's the thing. Like, there are chances around the net every so often. Like, especially near the tail end of the first. But we didn't really do anything. But this period could have went a lot worse. So I'm not going to hold it against the Jets. I think, honestly, it's just the fact that we were overestimating this game. Or underestimating, sorry. Underestimating. We are overestimating our abilities. Um, so then... Fun fact, it took me longer to sit that than it did for the Jets to score in the second period. And just like that Stastny from out of nowhere reaction there. Yeah, 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 yeah! I was checking my fantasy! Holy fuck, how did we do it? What the fuck happened? Uncle Paul scored, but I don't know how. Yeah, okay, so I gotta stop looking at my fantasy hockey while the game is on. I, I'm blurring this. Um, so the puck goes down. Murray goes to play it. Murray does not communicate with his defenseman in any way, shape, or form. And just plays it to an open corner. Appleton's there. And a lot like um, the last game of the season last year, where the Jets played against the Oilers. And there was that weird play where... Um, lining either passed to Eakin or Eakin passed the line or something like that, or we just kind of where Mike Smith couldn't play it in the corner. It's what? just a pass out in front. What happened to Eakin again? I can't remember. He went to Buffalo. He's from Winnipeg, but I don't think he ever really wanted to be here. It's one of those weird things, but that's okay because he's technically stati he advanced statistics have him as one of the worst lines in the NHL. I like how you hate advanced statistics. I'm not like I'm not. I don't a I'm not a diehard advanced statistics guy. I don't hate advanced statistics, but it's just kind of like at some point when you go too in depth, it's like do the numbers really mean it? Well, okay. And here's, sometimes, yes. Here's the thing. I would argue that advanced statistics are probably the weakest in hockey, but that's because hockey as a proven, it's it's fact that hockey requires, like doesn't hockey has a bigger portion of of luck than almost any of the major sports. There's a reason that the same NBA teams make it every year. There's a reason the same guys go to the frickin' Super Bowl every year. There's a reason the same few teams go to the, the um, frickin' World Series. The, the same cannot be said for hockey. And yes, there's, there's more games you play, but... That's more opportunities but, for, yes, for, it, for bad luck. There's more opportunities for variables. Yeah. Um... Like, for the last, like, if, if, if advanced statistics, uh, this is a quick tangent, I swear. If advanced statistics were correct, Vegas would have three Stanley Cups by now. Go look at the money puck graph. Vegas just goes, and Vegas occupies 33% of the we'll win the Stanley Cup portion. It's only three days into the season, but we know. And it's like, How? It's not that drastic, but still. Um, Anyways. I mean, no, Stastny converts on that to make it 1-0. Um, this period was a lot better. This period was a lot better. Um, obviously, this period was a lot better, but uh, Galtini takes a high stick. Um, Brown has a, a shorthanded chance. Doesn't really get anything. Hellbuck was on point tonight. And there's this new scene in the power play that I like. And I kind of think it's it's kind of like the Matthew Perot play. And what I mean by that is what Matthew Perot does on the second power play unit, which he's done a couple times, is when the puck goes to... So people who know the Jets power play will know where I'm talking. When the puck goes to the 
Kyle Connor spot, which is on the right side, the left side of the goalie, right side if you're in our end facing the facing the net. If you're Halva. Yeah, if you're Halva. When the puck goes to Kyle Connor's spot, instead of sitting at the top of the hash marks like Shifley, and actually like how Roswick was playing on his power play unit, um, what Perot does is he takes two steps forward, almost two strides forward. And, t- and he's facing the other way. So he's not getting ready for a pullback. He's going for a tip-in play. I like this scene because I think at the very least, if you don't get it on, it has an opportunity. If it goes clean through, you can pro- possibly, Wheeler can walk down to grab it. So having Stastny there would be very good. Um, and it almost worked. Uh, we almost scored that. But um, we would end up not scoring on this. Um, Pierre-Luc Dubois would take a... A tripping penalty, which is ironic because Pierre looked ball about three seconds before he takes the trip. The puck kind of gets slowed down at the blue end when they're entering. Pierre looked ball looks like he takes a tiny hook and then takes a trip. Wasn't a bad penalty. It was kind of like his stick just got caught in the wrong spot. I actually like Pierre looked ball this game, even though he was held pointless again. Um, but anyway, after that, that all was killed. Um, point shot. Demello will score. Reaction there. No. Okay, fuck you. Yeah! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Woo! Dubois on the ice! Hey! <laughs> I'm gonna say this in advance. I have no idea where Dubois was on the ice. Let this puck touch him somewhere. I just want him to get a point. Good fucking net presence. So this was not DeMello's goal, actually. Um, they awarded it. NHL had it as DeMello's goal, kept it as DeMello's goal, and then about hours after the game had finished, they gave it to Ehlers on a deflection. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea where they're looking, but I'm not going to argue with that because Ehlers is on my fantasy team. Sure, I'll take yeah, the two points. At my I'll too. take the two points. No, I checked after the game. But no, it was great. Um, Just a good, solid play. Pierre-Luc Dubois is key in this goal, though, because he's screening Murray, and Murray's not seeing anything. Murray can't see nothing. And it doesn't matter if it's a tipping or not. If that shot just goes clean on net, I don't think Murray makes that save. Um, Stassi was trying to make some passing plays. There's not a lot to say in the second period because it was just like hit, 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 good, like type thing. Like it was just event after event and then you'd get it. There's there's some dead space there, but it's not worth noticing. Um, so Ottawa is fast. It, it's interesting. Ottawa is not fast back checking wise, but offensively they're actually kind of fast. What, what I mean by that is that it felt like we were losing so many freaking races to the puck in our own end to wave off icings and stuff like that. That's a bit concerning. I'm not going to lie. Like the amount of times where the the ref would just be like, no. And it's like, but guys, like you're, you're, you got to win those puck, those, like those puck races. Because if you're playing a team like Edmonton, they will murk you. If you're playing a team like, no, 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 not even that. If you're playing a team like Toronto, Toronto will roast your head on a fucking spike for plays like that. I actually say, especially Montreal, because Montreal... Montreal would do that too, yeah. Montreal, like, when I saw them play Tampa last year, when I was in Tampa... Yeah. Uh, one thing I noticed is that, like, Tampa, they, they eventually won because they, they eventually figured Montreal out. The whole first half of that game was Montreal just running past them and picking up pucks. <sighs> yeah. Because Montreal, basically, all they had going for them at the time was just speed. Yeah. Just because of, like, yeah. So, Gabranson takes a cross-checking penalty. So, so you can call that! Um, gonna put us on the power play. And Wheeler scores on the power play. Finally! Woo! Like, goddamn! Okay, shut up, Gabranson. We are owed this. You took a cross-checking penalty against a team that had a lot of problems with cross-checks last game. 
The hockey gods demand a sacrifice, and you, sir, are it. Let's go. My reaction pretty much got a lot of what I said over that, but that that power play looked so easy. Like, yes, it, it required us to reset once, but look at the time of that power play that we had the puck on our stick and not, like, just, like, holding it, kind of looking around. Like, we were just passing it clean. Also, all five Jets players on the ice touch this puck before it goes in the net. That's pretty freaking amazing. And just how effortlessly Stastny just kind of chip plays it right over to Wheeler to score. And that would be late in the th in the second period. Let's put the Jets up 3-0. Uh, so... Did you, uh... Yes, I, I did. I did. I'm pretty sure I did. If I didn't, then put it there. Um, I keep I kept saying Hoberg. I always said Hoberg. It's not Hoberg. Did you know that? I didn't really give a shit. It's Hogberg or something like that. There's a G. There's a G. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, what? Like, and it was weird because the two announcers would say it completely different. Like the two guys sitting next to each other. And I'm like, uh... One of you is betraying me, in the words of Dutch Vanderlyn. <laughs> um, Why do I feel like this is the part I haven't gotten to yet? Well, this is interesting. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. It actually makes me excited. Thank <laughs> God it all of context. <laughs> That casually spoiling a video game I've spent like Oops. 25 hours playing. <laughs> You're so. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. Anyway, there's. Well, a... you didn't tell context, so it's. Okay. That's that is true. Um. <laughs> I haven't played the rest of the game. <laughs> I told you I don't fucking trust Mike. <laughs> I don't trust stop, them. stop, I, stop. Because like then they'll comment about <laughs> this and that'll spoil it for you. Yeah. You're just lucky that I read the YouTube comments the most. Um, but anyway, uh, Pro will pick a corner to make the game for nothing. Okay. If we get one more, I feel like we could really just dagger it. Like, we've got the foot on the throat, but I just want the dagger. Just, 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 so I can relax completely. Just like that! Just like that! Just like that! Just like that! Woo! Woo! What does Dutch have to say? That was the dagger. <laughs> that was the dagger. Um, at that point, it was completely out of reach. There's no chance. Uh. Ho I'm just going to keep saying Holberg because Hogberg sounds weird to me now. I'm sticking with that error. We're, we'll double down. Um, makes a save on a one-time right after that from Wheels and Kyle Connor. Uh, a bit back and forth, but it was kind of relaxed now that we knew that it was. Uh, Josh Norris would unfortunately snap the shutout um, to make it 4-1. For the record, I was watching Peg City stream about a minute ago, and he said, yeah, yeah, shut out. Now I don't want to point fingers! Does that look like a shout out to you? Nah, I'm just kidding, it's all good. I'm also, before I forget, Ross like, has two fucking goals today, what the hell? And not... Long after that, Pionk would score on a wraparound play to make it 5-1. I'm just going to wait a second or so just to kind of build oh, it up. Well, we're up by three, so I don't think they care. Oh. Woo! What a goal! Like, that's just a play you don't see from Pionk. Yeah, I was going to say, like, how does he do this? Like, I don't know, how how does he get from point A to point B here? So he's coming in, okay. And then, just let PLD score. 
He was trying so hard. Like, just let the man score. Come on. He's so close. Um, also, do not fucking pinch on a, on a, in a 5 nothing hockey game. I don't care who you are. If you are a defenseman, do your goalie a favor and don't pinch on a 5-1 hockey game. We don't like having two-on-ones when we're up 5-1. They can only hurt us. You have nothing to gain. You've already had a point night. The only way I would ever say to pinch when you're up in the lead like that is if not, like, and I don't mean, like, you think you can get the puck off him. I mean... Like, you will get to the puck first. He will not even be there. No, uh, they pinched, and it was a 2 on one And I was like, hmm. Yeah. Also, that's the other thing. I don't like... I don't know if I like the, the Stanley Bull U pairing as much right now, because one of those guys always likes to pinch, and the other one you can't... You don't even want Bull U to play the game. Well, Stanley that. pinches, right, in the first period. And Bull U goes to cover it. But Bull U isn't fast. So that's like... That's like the meme of the guy with the flex seal thing when he covers it and the water just goes right through his goddamn hand. It's like, why Why did you even do that? The flex seal guy. Was it flex seal? Say his name. What's his name? Phil Swift. <laughs> Hi, guys. Phil Swift here for flex tape. <laughs> I forgot. I, I, the only guy I know is the sham wow guy. We don't talk about him. <laughs> um, Remember the shticky? The shticky? The shticky? Slap chop. The jam wow. You know where they tested it? In Germany. I don't know how I know that. Made in Germany. You know the Germans always make good stuff. I don't know why you care. <laughs> but anyway, no. Uh, Jets would win 5-1. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Jason Spencer. Now I'm just asking for sh Let's just throw all the clubs in. Yeah. <laughs> No um, but honestly, like, top three performers of this game, I would say number, th uh, honorable mention would be, oh, I don't know. Honorable mention will be Pierre-Luc Dubois, because I've, he's become more familiar with the Jets systems and all that. Um, number th and also, three. you're going to try to make that trade look as good as you can by putting him in the top three. <laughs> Do you got a headache? Would you like one? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me how I'm doing. It's none of your damn business. Um, third, I would say. Hmm. This is where it gets tricky. I don't. It's funny. Okay. Also about Wheeler. Um, Wheeler is slowing down. Let's just hit that nail on the head. Wheeler's probably gonna finish. My guess is Wheeler finishes with forty-two points, which is down for him because it's not averaging a point per game. Um, I would say three. I don't want to put Ehlers. Because I didn't really see him too much this game. Actually, I didn't see Wheeler until the Wait, power play. Put, I thought you put Pierre Luc Dubois at three. Oh, I did, right. Good. Good. And then you put Wheeler. Is not no, there. Wheeler's not there. Wheeler's not on the list. Oh, you didn't. I was just going to say why I didn't like it. Yeah. Um, I would say honorable mention would go to... That's the line. Um, honorable mention. No, not Paul Maurice. No, no. Honorable mention, I guess I'll go to Mark Shifley. Because Mark Shifley actually did okay. Um, Mark Shifley's been looking a lot better recently. Um, number two. Uh, Neil Piog. He got his first goal this season. And he actually looked pretty good. Actually, DeMello looked decent, too. But I'm going to go with Pionk. That's my pick. And number one, obviously, Connor Halbuck. That's not even close. The dude stopped 41 of 42 shots. That's insane. Against a 31st team in the frickin' league. Although, the thing is, it's worth noting, um, Ottawa is a quantity over quality shot team, which says a, which is an understatement because they have, they're like a minus 33. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, like I like this game. I, I really like this game. That being said, the bar for this game, really low. Really low. Like, we all knew that this was going to be a, fun, a more fun game to watch that would engage the Jets' offense. That's just the matter of it. Now, I hope we win the next one because it's worth noting, 
Jets are looking good in the standings. I think as Jets fans, we have to remember, we haven't played Montreal once. We've only played Toronto once, and we lost to them. We actually haven't beat three of the teams in the North Division once. And if that... We Matt, have to play Toronto, what, ten times? Yep, we gotta play Toronto nine more times. Montreal nine more times. Vancouver eight more times. And before you laugh, we got our asses handed to us by the Canucks. So, there's that. And uh, Edmonton were split with, one and one. So yeah, no, it's it'll be an interesting next few games, uh, especially the the month of March, to be honest. But yeah, um, we're gonna leave it there. Uh, thank you to everyone who got our video, our Mandalorian video, over one thousand views. That was yeah, really that great was great to see. Also, thank you for the new people that subscribed. Uh, we're trying to hit two hundred, probably like by the end of the month. We'd say uh, we're at one seventy nine. It's attainable. It's, it's atta attainable. it's attainable. Honestly, actually, uh, the 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 numbers Peg City's been putting in is, is just great to see. He he went up like ten in one stream. I thought he did great. I was like, God damn it! I need to start streaming. But we have a crappy iPad. Um. So it actually won't let us stream from our uh, phone. Yeah, that too. Um. Like, like YouTube won't let us until we. I think we have to hit a thousand. No, you don't. He hasn't hit a thousand. Maybe he's streaming on something else. Like Maybe. Well, I don't know. Not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll ask him. I, I, I will ask him. Yeah. I'll ask him. Anyway. Um, let's not let this video run. Um, but anyway, if you enjoyed this p video, please leave a like. It helps us with algorithms. And honestly, it just tells us that you enjoyed it. And that's it great, helps us too. With algorithms. That's about um, it. <laughs> comment down below what your thoughts were on the game, as well as how Pierre Luc Dubois looked for you guys. And also, just anything. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Nolan Hockey Podcast. Um, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.